I'm Ben. I'm sorry. If you would like to get your song reviewed, dear listener, there's the filthy capitalist option. It's sorry says. 125 gets you straight to the head of the line. You don't have to be part of the alliance. So you don't have to be part of the group. Wait a minute. And the biggest thing is you don't have to wait. You hop, skip, and jump right in front of everybody. 125 gets you there. You do that three times and then get matched down to the $75 rate for perpetuity. Yes! Also, there is a band review option. <laughs> so if you've got a band and you're trying to get your band some exposure, hit me up at sorry at gmail.com and I'll show you the details about how to pull you that off. You can also jump on Patreon and there is a option on the tiers to be able to get your band reviewed. Yep. Obviously, we can't lie to you. So we can't guarantee, can't guarantee a positive you review. A positive review. <laughs> get what you get. It's just rubbish. 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 That's British for garbage. Ah! My favorite is a community option. One dollar at the gate gets you in at Patreon. You get to join an alliance. The alliance joins their points together, and that helps determine what songs that we do. The alliances hang out on Discord. Message me on Patreon to get the link. And they do all kinds of other cool things. They do Minecraft. What? Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, yeah. It's really a community within the community. Anybody can go on the village, facebook.com backslash and sorry. There's 160 plus thousand people on the channel. What's cool about the Discord is that it offers a real opportunity for community connection, friendship, that type of thing. But, and uh, it's on Discord, so if you're not a Facebook person, it's for you. You start off at a dollar. Right. Plus you get exclusives. Sorry and I are working on a song. So the first 15 seconds of that was on Patreon. Also, at $15 here and above, when we actually debut the video, they're going to be there live with us. There you are, dear listener. Buy our merch. Buy our merch indeed. Because then a child shall lead them to buy our merch. We are doing an album review. If you're interested in learning how to do that, watch the commercial that just ended. <laughs> um, next up on our list is the Protoman Act 1, The Will of One. Which is the story continuing, um, assuming this that like, Mega Man takes off with his this own... This is like the soundtrack to a movie. The big homie Mega Man just discovered that his brother Proto Man was brutally murdered! Mm. And that his dad did nothing about it. So he stormed out of the house, now he's ready to go do work. So uh, this should be a good one. Let's go. Uh, what is it? it uh, is that song 5? Why do you keep asking me these random things? One, because, uh, two, three, four. This four. Is four. Okay. Oh, I see. It's not random. <laughs> uh, the will of one. Let's do it. Uh, yeah. Let's go, baby. Let's go.
You are mm. no such thing, sir. I smack what? you with my handkerchief. Go ahead. What? What? Why did you say that? Because they're saying we are your hope, we keep you safe. That's the bad guy saying that shit. That's uh, Wiley's people saying that. Oh, I thought it was the people of the city. I thought that he would. I thought that they were saying that no, you can't stop an entire crowd of people that's being led by one very good leader. No. Nah. And so I thought the thought the thing your hope because you know like you lose hope in humanity and it's like wow this is never gonna like I remember hearing about what. Cause there's a there's very a, rude. No, bro, there's a thing right there. See, <clears throat> the rusting metal loudspeakers mounted at intervals on the side of the stone wall are humming, chanting now words to settle the stir created by a new hero. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Mega Man is the new hero, and so Wiley's got these loudspeakers up there saying this stuff. Words to quell oh. a potential uprising, words to inspire fear, words to drive back the yep. idea that freedom is in grasp, et cetera, et cetera. Yep. So, they, so that that phrase is propaganda. Words to drive back the idea that freedom is within the grasp of an angry mob headed. We are your hope. Yeah. We keep you safe. So go ahead. Well, it's different because it's I I didn't see that as what it was. I thought. The people were saying that they were... Because you know how, like... Like, when 9-11 happened and, like, everything was just, like, going down and I kept thinking, why didn't everybody just fight together on that plane? Like, everybody just sat there and then you heard about Let's Roll. You know what I mean? Like, look at... The, <laughs> but, babe, that's what we all heard about, okay? I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, that's that's the line that people were giving. It was a big, yeah, let's roll. and Yeah. Yeah. It was so common sounding, you know what I mean? Like, let's roll. Anyway, so the idea that, that you could do something like that, you know what I mean? Like everybody could work together to... Is something happening here? Yeah, hold on. I'm trying to... Okay, go ahead. So I thought it so was like, yeah. took from it? No, yeah, I thought that they were saying... I thought the people were saying... Like I thought he was losing hope and then the people were saying like, where your hope? Like because... You, if you have one strong leader, but you don't have the people behind him, then you're not really going to get that far. But if all the all the little people underneath band together underneath the leader and they all go forward, well, then you have something there. And I thought that's what we were talking about. I didn't realize it was coming over the lights, loudspeaker. That's a, that's a hell of a uh, 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 of a character development in a very short period of time. Yeah. Because right now the people are just sitting there, allowing themselves to be completely mm -hmm. dominated by this. You know. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how I missed that. And you know, really, honestly, if I, when you think about, you know, January 6th, right? Mm -hmm. You think about January 6th. Now, obviously, I have a perspective on it that these are, these were crazy insurrectionists, yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. And I still, I still think that. But one of the things that you, you try to do is enter into the world of the people that you're critiquing. Mm -hmm. These people truly, truly believed that Kamala Harris and Joe Biden and the rest of the Democratic Party were involved in this underground cabal of baby eating child yes assaulting whatever they right. they truly yeah. truly mm -hmm. to their core believe that mm -hmm. they also believe that the election was stolen it doesn't matter what you say or the fact that was it neil Corv gorsuch uh kavanaugh amy comey barrett these are three supreme court justices that trump himself installed mm -hmm. they looked at the evidence and said sir you do not have a case mm -hmm. doesn't matter they were also part of the conspiracy so was mike pence who was handpicked by mr trump he's also part of the conspiracy as fantastical as that seems and as crazy as that seems if you truly at your core believed that January 6th was sort of the, the watershed moment of whether or not Americans were going to stand up and, quote, take back their country from these horrible, 
pedophilic child murderers who were drinking children's blood. I mean, literally, mm. they believe that. That yeah. that's, that's they literally believe that. Yeah. I can understand because because you know the theme of this is like somebody's got to stand up. You can't just sit there and watch all this horrible shit happen. Mm -hmm. Like. That's the theme of this record so far is how could you sit there and watch this happen? And then he was saying to his dad, if if I just sit here and watch the city burn, you're just as silly as these people that are letting this shit happen. What's the difference between you and them? Mm -hmm. So I understand. Yeah, I thought I think those people are crazy. A lot of them deserve to be in prison. Um, and rest in peace to Ashley Babbitt, Babbitt and the other people that died in that in that entire, you know, attempt. Yeah. But like, can't you see where like I see where they're coming from. Like they, they were willing to, and some of these, a lot of these people were literally willing to die over this shit. They mm -hmm. were like, I'm not going to stay in here and let this shit happen. And so from that vantage point, I could understand like what they were doing and what motivated them and all that stuff. You see what I'm saying? Oh no. I mean, yeah, of course. If you really believe that's what's happening, they did, they did the best they could with the information that they were given, of course. Yeah. And, and so like, there, there's that thing where, and it, it's always dangerous. Like, you're you're in the minority. You know the truth. Everybody else is wrong. But there are periods where that's true. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like if you were around in Nazi Germany, I, I remember I was reading this some some book. It was uh, actually when we were in the homeless shelter when we were at the um, in the synagogue, and I, so they had all these books out, and obviously a lot of them were about the Holocaust. And a lot of the, the Jewish kind of neighbors and friends were like, yo, are you hearing about what's happening? Like, they're taking it. And people were like, that is ridiculous. That's the stupidest thing ever on the planet. Like, what the hell is wrong with you? You dumb as hell. Like, come on. Oh, really? Okay. I get, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't believe it, though. And so. I don't, I don't believe that they were blindsided by that. They were burning bodies in there. I mean. No, I'm talking about the Jewish people didn't believe that it was happening. Not the Germans. Oh. It was. Jewish people telling other Jewish people because there were rumors, especially like after Kristallnacht, where hey, they're shipping us off and killing us and wholesale oh. and all. And there were a lot of they were like, "Come on, you guys are taking this." Well, yeah, over. I mean, it does sound really ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? What they were doing to people, absolutely, yeah. And, and so there have been times in history, and and we're kind of like that, where we where we say to people, "Do you know what they're doing to baby?" Because a lot of people don't really understand what's happening in abortion clinic. They don't mm -hmm. get it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They really just think, oh, it's just a clump of cells, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. And the Gaza uh, Strip, that's another one that's like... Gaza are, Strip is another what's one. Or, or, and, and also what Pony was talking about with those Native American, Native American, American girls. girls and all of them that are going missing and everything that's happening over there. Like yeah. The, all of those things. Yeah, so there are times when society just turns a blind yeah. eye. To something. And although, they are turning a blind eye. Although I would say that the, the, the difference is in this story, this is something that was happening to them directly. Mm -hmm. It was affecting them directly. And mm -hmm. and so when you're frustrated, like, what are you doing? And and so that's the same thing in the in the in Nazi Germany where you had a bunch of Jewish people saying, I don't know, man, like this shit is not mm -hmm. and they got out of there. Mm -hmm. they, which is why they were able to write the book. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because they got out. And but they had to basically not watch because it's not like you were seeing this play out on TV, but they pretty much had to leave knowing that their family, like, they weren't gonna make it. And that their friends, they weren't going to make it because they didn't really take it that seriously. So, so if I look back, if you look back at at like, you know, what happened in the whole January six attempt and all the rest of it, it, it they really truly truly believe that that Nancy Pelosi and all these people are going to be arrested and 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 taken out, and that they're going to have a bunch of kids underneath the White House, they're going to walk out and be the hero. Oh, they truly believe this oh, stuff. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I, talk, I mean, that. I've talked to these people. Like, I, I thought it was, like, remember that island where all that craziness is going, Bohemian Grove or something yeah, like yeah. that? I thought it was like, they go over there somewhere hidden. I didn't know that they thought beneath the building itself was they were going to find kids. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was insane. So, like, when I listen to the song, it's, like, so inspiring, and I'm like... Okay, like that gave me a little bit of insight mm -hmm. into what yeah. their mindset was. And from that vantage point, they're 
got to there's got to be some room for empathy where you say okay like you know what I'm saying like yeah I understand why you would think that and why you would do what you ended mm-hmm. up doing I'm not saying I I support it I'm not saying it's cool I'm obviously against it I I spoke pretty stridently against it but I understood why but it just makes Yeah but me... I could see if I if if I really believe that there was kids that were beneath a building and that people were killing them systematically and drinking their blood. Yeah. I don't care what it would, I would go too. Yeah. I would go to get those kids out of there to help get the kids out. Of course. Yeah. And so then you say the real bad guys are the select few people who took that. And utilized portion it. Portion of the human spirit and utilized it. Yeah, for that's, their own pl- that's, that wow. makes it like, mm. that's where, you know, cause, and everybody knows, like I've been on record, like before I've been like, ah, Trump, well, ah, whatever. Mm-hmm. But like, for him to do that to those people, I know. I think is I think is is I know. Uh, and and they're left holding the bag now for the rest of their lives. They're the idiots who did that. They're uh-huh. immortalized on TV and mm-hmm. shared all over the Facebook and mm-hmm. all their neighbors know. And I remember watching, you know, Parlor because Parlor got shut down a day or two after that, yeah. so there wasn't much right. time, but. You know, I took a screenshot. Remember where that girl was like, oh, you know, everybody's mocking us after our riot or whatever, whatever. And I mean, I'm not going to lie. I laughed. I thought I, I, I got a good chuckle out of it. But hearing this song actually changes your perspective a little bit, a little bit, because it's like, damn, like that part of the human spirit that I, that I think is, is part of the image of God in us, which is standing up for justice, you know, mm-hmm. fighting against the status quo or whatever. That was weaponized by this dude and a couple other people in order for them to be pawns in his political game. And I just think that 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 makes you probably one of the all-time shittiest homo sapiens ever of all time, in my opinion. I mean, that it is pretty gross. Really horrible. Although, I didn't really see a lot of... I wasn't as active as you were, but I didn't see a lot of people saying this is for the kids. You know what I mean? Like, it seemed like it was about overcoming Trump. I mean, not overcoming Trump, but Um, like... No, getting no, no. Oh, a lot of them were saying, univic- univic- "Oh, well, then about. that's that's yeah." About the kids. Because the that's pizza gate thing, wow. the pizza gate thing had been before, and that was Hillary. Hillary was a bad guy who was drinking blood and all the rest of it with yeah. these kids and all the rest of it. Um. So yeah, just really, really horrible, horrible wow, stuff. Wow. Okay. Horrible, horrible stuff, and yeah, you know, I, I, you know, so it's it's interesting because like all great art, this song was written. Well before any of those situations happened. And so I'm sure that had nothing to do with it. But it just like, that's why the song was like so like inspiring. Mm. Like, mm-hmm. yo, we're not going to let take this sitting down. We're going to go and do something. And I believe you should do that. And like, and I got, but you know, butterflies yeah. and chills. And, and like, you almost want like something to happen so that you can be part of it. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And and for that to be bastardized that way, really, really horrible stuff. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You know what you know what's interesting too? Because it talks about the 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 sound over the loudspeakers and then everybody hears it and fear is something that is used all over the place. Yeah. To get people to do what you want them to do. You know? Sure. And I was talking to the kids today because they had a what was the situation? Oh, so Johan fell asleep with the phone. So Dorian was trying to wake up on time, but because Johan fell asleep with the phone, he didn't plug it in. Then the alarms didn't go off, so oh, Dorian no. didn't get up. Oh, no. And Dorian was like, you're never going to have the phone ever again at night. And I was like, well, hold on a second. Hold on. I'm like, what? I said, Johan, did you hear what, what he said was the problem? And Johan said, yeah. I said, okay, do you, do you see that as an issue? He said, yeah. I said, well, so, so what would you come up with a solution for that? He said, well, I just won't have the phone at night. I'll just take a book to bed with me instead. And I said, "See, Dorian, you didn't you didn't have to you, you didn't have to come up with a rule. Just right. have the conversation and see where it goes." And I think that, like, you know, right. Right. You, you know what I'm saying. But I think that that people res, result to stuff like that when they don't know what to do, so, like a control move instead of like trying to have a conversation. And I think that in a situation like this, they were using fear to get to to get these people where they want them and, and you see that happen a lot of times. Happen so now? yeah, so one thing is one thing that I've been doing in my own life is when I notice that I get really like panicked or scared about something, 
I start asking myself the questions like, okay, what's the worst thing that could happen in this situation? Um, what if I do nothing in this situation? Is it going to get worse? Is it going to get better? And I kind of go through these different questions. And then I'll, there are so many times where, and then I'll ask myself, is the level of panic that I'm feeling right now equal to what's happening? And a lot of times it's way off. And I'm like, why am I doing this? Why am I stressing myself out over something that really doesn't have a whole lot of bearings on my life or anybody's life around me. Like it doesn't matter. So, um, but, but if you allow yourself to be somebody who's driven by fear, then you're going to be controlled all over the place because people know that people are controlled by fear. And yeah. so then they start using that to their advantage to get you swayed into places that you probably shouldn't be in the first place. And, and now we're, we're just in, in such a horrible situation because the vast majority of us, including me, we don't know who to believe, who to trust, what the best guess is. Mm -hmm. At this point, I'm like, getting a single shot is probably the good... Doing what we did is probably the right thing to do. Um, I'm not getting, you know, not getting the booster thing. We're not doing that. Um, and our kids aren't getting mm -hmm. vaxxed. Um, this is our standing now. This is our standing now. I mean, we all got Stuff it. changes. Stuff we changes. all we all yeah. got it, and apparently, as in we get, all got COVID. If you get vaxxed, except for Johan, I don't think he got it unless he was asymptomatic. Yeah, that's true. He never Johan got it. Just, <laughs> it was kid. it was really sad too because because he was the only kid that didn't get it. He was the only one that wasn't quarantined. So he was the only one that was like working the entire time because all the other kids got quarantined, so they had to sit out. It's true. He was he was grinding. He was grinding. Didn't hard. we didn't we talk about oh, doing yeah. a little celebration thing and we never did it? Is that what happened, or did we do it? No, I think we did it. I'm not sure. We'll see. <laughs> uh, okay, what'd you get the song? Okay, wait, one other thing. It reminded me of, you know, like a siren? The, the mermaids that are, like, super beautiful, and they yeah. start making the noise, and then people crash their boats up against the thing? Yeah. And so the only way to overcome that, and you'll see it in, like, different movies or books or whatever, is they, they'll stuff wax in their ears so they cannot hear the sound. So then they can just go on what they what's actually happening in front of them instead of being swayed by the sounds. And so I think that sometimes that you have to give yourself, like, put the wax in your ear for a little bit. Take a break. If you're realizing that you're being driven by fear and everything is inciting fear in you, take a break. Stop all that and kind of get your bearings again. Because it's not healthy to be run around and driven by fears because you will drive yourself into the into the, the sides of the rocks. Like, it's true. You know, so. And both sides want you to be afraid. Yeah. One side wants you to be afraid of the, quote, anti-vaxxers so that, mm -hmm. you know, you'll listen to them. But the other side wants you to be afraid of big government, big pharma, so mm -hmm. that you'll listen to them. Yep. Both sides are trying to terrorize you right. into doing what you want them to do. Yep. So don't get it twisted. Mm -hmm. uh, both sides are doing that. Both sides are utilizing social media. Both sides are utilizing, you know, trigger words and phrases or whatever. The to, last thing they to, want to is for people, people to not to be afraid. Yeah, both because sides. Because people that are yeah. not afraid are going to be able to clearly think through the, the implications of stuff and come to conclusions on their own. And, and you're not easily swayed if you're that person. That's why a lot of people don't like you, Vin. You don't care about their opinion. How the freak am I supposed to control this man? <laughs> uh, what do you get to Uh 9.6. I, yeah. I liked it a lot. Yeah, I give it a 9.5. Uh, best song on the record so far. So far. But uh, this is like a slow bird. It's mm. increasing every single song. It's getting Vengeance better, is next. Which I'm pretty happy about because we've got another song on the way. If you're in regular YouTube land, what could be done for you? Nothing could be done for you. You missed out. Uh, but if you're here and you're in the chat and you're faithful, let's do it. We're going to be hanging out after the commercial break. You guys know the deal. Vin, out. Sorry, out. Go.